news coming from West Asia in what appears to be a sophisticated cyber operation. Over a thousand Hezbollah fighters and affiliates are injured after their communication pages reportedly exploded across Lebanon. That was Gadi Francis. She is our correspondent in Beirut. And um, we do understand that Iranian ambassador to Lebanon, Mojtaba Amani, is among the over a thousand people injured in a series of page explosions across Lebanon. We are yet to get an official confirmation on this. We are waiting to hear how Tehran would react to this development. But so far, Lebanese media have linked the incident to an Israeli cyber attack, though Israel has yet to officially comment. The explosions were not confined to one area. Pages detonated in multiple locations, including southern Lebanon. It is believed that Israeli intelligence hacked into Hezbollah's communication devices, causing them to explode when triggered remotely and simultaneously. And now let's just uh, get to know what is happening in Israel, because our correspondent Jody Cohen is there. She's joining us on the phone line. Jody, has there been any reaction from the Israeli government about this incident and what are they saying if there is any information from them? So there's been no comments from the Israeli government about this. We know that the Israeli government have just voted in a new war goal, and that is to return residents in northern Israel to their homes. And that's because Israel says that tens of thousands of Israelis have been displaced by Hezbollah's more than 8,500 rockets and drones fired towards Israel since October. Now, a former aide to Netanyahu, Topaz Luk, hinted on social media that the blast could have come from Israel. He then deleted his post, and the Prime Minister's office have distanced themselves from the post, saying that Luck hasn't worked as the Prime Minister's spokesperson for a few months now and is not in the close circle of discussion. Meanwhile, Netanyahu's office reportedly ordered all coalition members not to give interviews at this time. For all the latest news, download the Wii on app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.